Greetings and welcome back to Mega Aquarium. I'm Catherine Sky, and a huge, huge thank you to Twice Circled for giving me a key to this game long time ago, but also more recently to the Freshwater Frenzy and Architects Collection DLCs. Now, I haven't played this game in a while. And the occasion is uh, the um, Freshwater Frenzy is coming to consoles, Xbox, um, PS4, and uh, Switch. So if you have the game on there, you can get them there. But I always have enjoyed this game. I really like it. It's kind of like a zoo tycoon, except for fish. And I know that Tim, who is who is twice circled, uh, he's kind of a fish guy and he knows a lot about fish. So we're going to get some pretty challenging gameplay. It's really fun to play. Um, and we'll just, yeah, keep going with this. Now, if you don't know Twice Circle, they were also, well, he was also the one to make Big Pharma. That's the sort of like, um, a factory slash puzzle game that I played long time. I don't know if I played it on my channel, but I really enjoyed it. So anyway, um, we are going to start a sandbox game because it's going to include Freshwater Frenzy and the Architects Collection, which I want to kind of feature here. So starting rank four, sure, sounds good. Freshwater, yes, absolutely. I want to have everything available. And then I want to have, I want to unlock stuff because I find that fun. I like doing the unlock. Uh, side objectives, let's just do those on normal. Trades, merchants, sure. Unlimited money, you know, this one, I'm a bit, hmm, sometimes there's a lot of waiting in the game, so, but I want to play like, you know, have a good time, economic, all that stuff, so let's just do this, let's just start, and this is just a random seed here, I guess we could type in something else, but I think I'm okay, so let's just start. Let's have a go, see what we get. Okay, we get an absolutely tiny, tiny, tiny space, oh, it's so cute, so Anyway, this game, like I said, is about making an aquarium and Tim is, he knows a lot about fish. And so like when you have your fish, they have all of these different like icons, which we're going to talk about. Um, and you have to fulfill their every need and they can even multiply and they can breed and they can do other things. So, um, what I want to do is we're going to get, probably we're going to buy a little bit more space. Um, and the architect... Uh, collection is very cool because uh, you can make like bridges and tunnels and you, there's like um, tanks that have like tunnels through them so that's really kind of awesome so anyway let's start off by increasing the size of our place except I do want to get a different uh, thing Greek paint what is that oh I haven't seen that one before oh my gosh oh when we have archways tunnel archway flat archway Fences, dividers, and flat roof. Wow. Oh. Nice. Okay. We're going to start, I think, with shipwreck paint. That I want to make that the default. That's just going to help us paint things later. Uh, or not have to paint things later. So I want to build. So first of all, I want to build some tanks. And then I need to build kind of a back area for the employees to be in. And we're just going to kind of like play this as we go along. I'm going to go ahead and paint... The rest of this to look decent. What does this Greek paint look like on the floor? Is that like... Oh, I like that. I like it a lot. How does it look on the walls? It's... Yeah... I kind of like wood for my walls. But you know what? Let's go with this Greek stuff. I like it. It's very clean and nice looking. So let's make that our default for now. We, all we have to do is right click. I like that UI functionality. Overall in this game, the UI is really functional and really nice. And I like it a lot. You know, guys, I'm very picky about that. Um, so anyway, what I want to do, let's start off by making a tank. So we start off with a few different tanks here. We have a basic tank or a lagoon tank. The lagoon tank is kind of cool because like you see here, it has a depth of two. It actually goes into the ground which is kind of fun. So let's do this. Let's make a big lagoon tank. And my goal with this tank is to make it have like several kinds of fish here. But we have to be really careful about what we put into this tank because some animals don't do well with others. Like, I think, is this the bully symbol? Okay, so this is a wimp fish. If there's a bully fish, the bully fish will like, I think it will eat them actually. So, and this one like needs four fish, four reef squirrel fish to be happy. Um, and then this one, you know, there's other ones. The four here denotes the size. So if we look at this tank, we have 88. But remember that we're buying like baby fish, so they grow up bigger sometimes. 
And so usually you'll see a size of like three to 10 or something like it as they grow up bigger. But anyway, let's see what we can find here. So this is a, another wimp fish. Maybe we can build a couple of uh, wimp thingies, uh, wimps together. This one is a shoaler. They need to be grouped with at least four of the same type. Okay, let's see. Let's do the wimpy ones in the same place. These are, okay, so this one grows four to nine. So let's go ahead and put in maybe one or two of these. Let's see, what else does it say? Oh, warning, may eat or damage starfish. Okay, so we don't wanna put any starfish in here. We also have cold water fish, or we don't have them yet, but we will someday. Uh, we have freshwater fish. Okay, tropical freshwater, so we have some of these. Um, but we're gonna research these as soon as we get the research going. All right, so let's start off by building, um, let's get a couple of these longhorn cowfish. What else does it say? Ecology, likes plants, they eat cockles. If you combine the ones that eat the same thing, it's easier for our people to feed them. Let's see, these don't, oh, these are orange pellet ones. You know, let's do all the orange pellet ones. There's a million that eat orange pellets. Let's do those. Okay, so let's get four of these. One, two, three, four. So they're quite happy together. So they need more plants, but they're happy with this. All right, so, but they need orange pellets. We'll, we'll figure out that later. All right, so this is a big tank. Let's just keep that open. And those are not gonna get any bigger. So these also eat orange pellets. Do we have any bully fish? You're a bully. Okay, so we don't wanna put this one in. So let's get you, let's get a couple of these. Okay, let's get another two of you. Are you guys happy? Well, they're not happy yet, of course. They need other things, but we just want to make sure that they have the things we're looking for right now. But having an aquarium with lots of different kinds of fish is really a nice thing to do. Uh, let's put a couple of these. Okay, we're at 24 of 88. So this fish tank can really hold a lot more fish. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, so who else we got in here? Dislikes lights. Okay, so no lights if we add this one. They also need a cave. This one is kind of cool because we need another four of these. We can definitely house four in this giant tank here. They need one cave, uh, but we have plenty of room, I think. We, ha we have plants needed, but caves are gonna be fine, I think. Okay, let's put those in there. All right, let's see if those are happy. They seem to be okay, so we don't have any lights, so that's good. And um, the other thing that we can look at is these blue things. They're like science tubes, number of science points earned when a guest views this, and then these are ecology points. So science points give us things like heaters and stuff like that, but ecology points will give us new fish. Okay, so I think we have a good number of fish in here. Let's see, those are there too. Should I put these in? Yeah, let's put these in, because they, they'll have the uh, things too. Okay, we'll put in a few there. Okay, nice. So this tank is at 44 ecology points viewed whenever the guest looks at this stuff, but we are gonna add some more things. We need eight cave points. Let's put in the caves first. So here is our selection of random stuff. Well, not random stuff. These are like decorations and things that the fish need. So we have a driftwood cave, which gives us three points or a rocky overhang, which gives us eight cave points and four rock points. So we don't actually need any rock points, but here we, should, we see that we actually will get the cave points satisfied there. Okay, and I think we need, I believe, no, we don't need, we don't actually need any plant points, but I like to put stuff in because they add to our ecology score. Now these also add to our reputation. So those are good, the pre prestige stuff. So we'll put it in an anchor over there. That's good. Um, and as you saw, those have a, an AOE around them. So you could see, like, when I click this, you could see that, like, on the ground there, like, ooh, people can see it from, or, well, if you put one outside, they get like, ah, ooh, nice, you know, this will affect them. Let's put one right there as well. Okay, let's also look at, um, so here we get two prestige just from making kelp. We got eelgrass. We have sea grapes. Um, don't think we need any. Okay, so these have filter power, actually. That's a good thing because that will help us with filtration of the water. Uh, these actually have 10, so let's put in some rocks here. And also go for an overhead view to make sure that we don't miss any of our squares. That's good. Okay, so 
Um, let's see. Let's put in some sea grapes as well. Put in a couple of those. You can uh, twist the, the mouse wheel or turn the mouse wheel in order to um, rotate the plants whichever way you want them, which is nice. I think I'll put in, let's put in a barrel maybe in here as well. And uh, that's going to up the score of our of our display. So let's see. And a shell is always nice. Do we want to put in maybe some eelgrass? Let's put those in there in the middle. So you can zoom in quite far here and you can see the, all the fish and they're going to swim here shortly. But I don't want to keep them swimming right now because what I really would like to do is we need to give them some filtration and heat because they need heat and filtration. Yes. Um, so what we can do is so that the people don't have to see this, we can actually put those, uh, items of filtration behind a wall. Let's just do that real quick. So let's see, we want a wall. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. That's fine. Let's just paint this Greek paint. There's another flooring that I really like as well. It's I think it's a pirate something pirate cove or something. Maybe we'll get to research that one day, but anyway, uh, yeah. So what we want here now is to put in a wall. I like to put it at least two from the display so that we can have benches here. People can walk around uh, and things like that. I think that's better. Um, all right. And then we'll have a door over there because this is going to be the staff room. Camouflage staff door. Oh, I've never seen that before, but that sounds cool. Oh, look at that. You can barely see it. That's awesome. All right, cool. Uh, and then we're going to have, let's do, I think we're actually good here. All right. So one of the things that you can do is if you put a filter, you need to put it right next to the tank. But if you use a pump, you can have it behind the area. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one like right back here. Uh, actually, it doesn't matter though, because this is a... Uh, this only will serve one tank, this small pump. So you can actually share them later and that allows you to share machines, uh, needing less machines, but we're just going to do this for now. So what we can do is let's see, this needs 60, uh, water quality. I don't know how many gears that is, but we can, uh, try this one. I usually try to go usually for a power combi and then add a heater. This one does both jobs, but it's usually not enough. Okay, so this is a really big tank, so we're going to need both anyway. I'm going to go ahead and X this one and just get one of each instead and see if that does the job. So do we have a big power filter? Okay, so this is 36. Oh, actually, this is better because this does 40 and this is 36. So yeah, I'll just do a couple of these instead. Do we need more? Yes, we do need more. Tiny bit more. There we go. So we can go over those amounts, but not under them. So now all the fish are in green happiness land. Yay. Okay, so now we can actually press go. We can also open. Yeah, open the aquarium. Toggle. Good. Let's go. Now, uh, the other thing that we need to make sure that we have is fish food. And that is here. So I think all we need is orange pellets right now. So we just have that. And I believe that's our employee. Do we have one? No, you don't, you're not an employee. Never mind. Okay. We really would like to hire people for feeding, especially right now. Feeding, fixing, cleaning. Oh, that's a good person. Let's hire you. What else we have? Fixing, fixing, cleaning, feeding and fixing. I'll hire you too. All right, go for it. So we have two, two employees right now and we can be very uh, micromanaging if we want to and like send them to certain zones and things like that, but we're going to leave it for now. Okay. So now we have other things that we need. We need a tool station really important because these filters and things break down. So you got to have a tool station to fix it. Then we have a broom stand that's for like cleaning up messes out in the world. I think, as I recall, um, I'm going to get another couple of squares here. So we can have a little bit more on the tool end of things and we'll have a sponge sink. Now the sponge sink is usually for cleaning bathrooms and things like that. So I want to start that right now actually, and just build a bathroom like right here. Hello. Oh no, it won't let me. That's out of bounds. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. We'll go ahead and put it here instead maybe. And maybe I'll put in a, uh, the, the thing with the sponge right there actually. 
So let's see, we can have, oh, we have different kinds of benches. That looks fun. We have a themed toilet or a basic toilet. Let's get the themed toilet here. There we go. There we are, looking good, looking good. And then we can put in a themed, th well, wow, a wall bin. That's cool. I haven't seen that before. All right, so let's do the wall bin. And then I want to put in, do we have any like food? Okay, we have drinks. That's good. And then we have, that's it. We have a bank, banquet, banquet corner. Let's put one of these here. And then we'll get the other pieces of this. Here we go. Because these have the prestige bonus to them, that means when people sit down, they will get that prestige. So yay. All right, these are also paintable and we're gonna figure out how to paint them later. I don't know if we can paint them with like these paints, like the Greek paint. Does that count? No, okay. Uh, it might be something else. Might be something I don't know how to do yet. Flat roofs, okay. There we go. Cause I haven't tried the painting other than painting walls yet, but it'll do, I guess it's okay. Let's see, is it here? I don't know where the painting is, help. Um, hmm. Anyway, it doesn't really matter, it's okay. So we have a resting area for people. We have stuff. Let's see, can I change the cost of this? It seems expensive. Oh, it's, oh wait, it's not open. Oh no, they've been, I, I thought it was open this whole time. Now, one thing about this game that you should know is you cannot like speed up time. That is not a thing. And that's why I was kind of like uh, vacillating on, hey, should we, should we go unlimited money or not? Okay, so now we get to, oh my God, they have a mantis shrimp. I wanna get a shrimp, I think. So we have, since we started at rank four, we have a lot of stuff to research from the previous ranks as well. I think I wanna get something interesting like this mantis shrimp, that looks cool. So here is our research. Okay, let's get a, ooh, a protein skimmer. That sounds fun. Um, helps achieve a higher water quality or a deep wall tank. I think I want the deep wall tank. Oh no, but I want the large, I want everything. I want everything. So you can see a guest generating all of these things. You can see their thoughts, uh, what they liked, what they didn't like. And those things all go into uh, making these things happen. So this is our peacock man mantis shrimp that we're working towards. And then we have the filter and then the, um, this is our next prestige rank. So once we get high enough, when we get 530 prestige, then we can, can earn the right to research all of these things. So we got, what is this? A jetty tank. Oh, that's cool. Hermit crab toy shelf. Ooh, I think we need more money making opportunities. I would love to get some more of those. All right, so what the next thing I wanna do is I do want to keep expanding. I kind of had this thought to do a two tanks and then kind of a walk around thingy majingy, but I don't know if we're gonna be able to do that. We'll see, we'll see. We might move stuff around later for that. Okay, and by the way, that this wood comes up because it was part of the previous wall. That's why it looks weird like that, but we'll just repaint it. And since we chose the Greek styling as our current uh, theme, it should just, everything else should be fine other than those original walls that we had. Okay, so this is happening right now. I kind of want to do some fr freshwater fish because that's part of the freshwater frenzy. Let's see how these work. Okay, so we have, we need neutral water for this one and also neutral water. They can be in the same thing then. Let's see, this is a hybrid. It's possible to breed hybrids of this species that vary in color and pattern. Oh my God, I didn't know that. That is awesome. Now this fish is nibbleable, which means other fish can nibble at it uh, or if they're nibblers. Uh, so let's see if this is a nibbler. This is a shoaler. I don't think they're a nibbler. Let's see, they eat bloodworms and they are breeders. These are also breeders. So let's see, they need floating cover for breeding. These ones need a flat surface. So those are like rocky stuff. All right, let's go ahead and make a tank for those two fish because I'm excited about those. Let's make another lagoon tank. Wait, what is the observer tank again? Oh, I remember that one. Yeah, that's one that's kind of sticks out of the wall a bit. Okay, let's make two spaces between. All right, there we go. Looking good. 
And again, let's start off with uh, a pump behind the wall and then add our power combi. We needed like, wow, lots for the other one. Okay, that works. They all have to like touch one side, by the way. That's why I'm putting them like this. So there's a walkway here for the uh, employees and they can also reach each one of these things. You can't block them in. Very important to note that. Uh, okay, let's get another staff door here. There we go. Very, very nice. Oh, see, a machine needs fixing. So somebody's fixing it right now. Here, the employee, they have to uh, actually access the thing. So when I bring new fish in, I like to, okay, so these are either one to two or four plus. This is a big tank, so we'll go four plus, I think. Four, five, six. Okay, that's only 18 out of 88 fish, so we'll add a few more. And then this one is also quite small. Now, of course, to breed fish, you need several fish in there. So let's just go with this, and then we'll see how many breed. Now, these need brine shrimp and bloodworm. So I'm going to go ahead and add those to here. Um... I like to make these like little alcoves so that they're not in the aisle ways so people can pass by quite easily. So brine shrimp, let's put that there. And then blood worms, there we go. Okay, very nice. All right, now they need plants. They're very unhappy at the lack of plants. Now we also needed some cover. Let's put, go fresh water. It automatically changes to fresh water, which is, which is really nice. So I don't think we actually have any of the breeding things that they need, which is unfortunate. Uh, but I guess we'll get those later. So they need 10 plants. We might as well just add some of these. Okay, so there's 10 plants. That's not very beautiful, I, I agree. But yeah, that's what we got. That is what we got, alas. Okay, let's put those rocks in there. And then we can also put in um, an anchor since that gives us some more prestige points okay so life is okay now good very good all right and people are gonna start emitting their emoticons happy days <laughs> so funny the way they do that but yeah the more tanks you have uh the better off you're gonna do especially if you mix um if you mix species together people like that there's also a thing that is a like a sign an informational sign and apparently people get tired if there are too many of them but um, you're supposed to put it on your tanks that have the most variety in them, which I think is a kind of a cool thing. Now we're down to money of almost nothing. Anyway, let's look at our mes message log. This is important. Okay, so we have, we have options. I don't really like the way this is presented uh, because to me, this just looks like a message. Okay, ignore, go, oh, go away. Okay, but it is actually a choice and you have to, well, you should do one or the other. Here at Ocean Life Outreach, we believe education is the key to saving our seas. We'd like to offer you an incentive to hit the following educational targets. So combined science across animals, 400 science, we get base prestige plus 35. Sure, why not? Because that's something that's going to happen anyway. And you notice this goal has appeared on the right hand side. All right, guest count. Uh, guest 25, we get 800 science. Sure. Okay. Now then. Hello, this is David from Han Hanrot Aquarium. Ah, somewhere in Dutchland, maybe. Perhaps we can help each other out. We could share our supplier of oriental sweet tips with you. Oh. In return, we'd like the following animal. Are you interested in doing a trade? Uh, well, they need a disco mushrooms fully grown. I don't think we have those. All right, Architect Challenge Archways. It is I, Alexander, the Aquarium Architect, here with another design challenge for you. Accomplish the following and I will reward you greatly. Okay, so we get Prestige from Archways plus 200. Okay, sure. Uh, can you look after Atlantic Pollock? Hello, this is Charles from San Rimas Aquarium. A group of Atlantic Pollock were donated to us, but we don't have the facilities to house them permanently. Would you be able to give them a home? So we need a tank with four Atlantic Pollock. Uh, check end of message, all requirements met. Uh, okay. Sure. OK, 
Okay, so we need four Atlantic Pollocks. So we have four different goals now, which is kind of cool. So we need archways. They want us to build an archway or, or seven. Uh, let's go ahead and build one. And that will just like, you know... It'll level itself up over time. Okay, let's go here. Yay. I don't know what the point of that is right now. It's obviously not really... Not really that exciting with our... Oh, wait, wait. No, no. Choose now. Choose now. Okay, we got our shrimp. Yay. All right, what do we want next? So can we find those mushrooms somewhere? I don't see it. Oh, here it is. Disco mushrooms. Let's go for those. All right, so let's see if I can pick this thing up. I think it's... No, this. Hello. There we go. Pick up. And we could put it there. It is a three width. You know what? I'll just... Oh, wait. No, it doesn't work there. No. Yeah. No, okay. Never mind. Okay. Very, very nice. There we go. So those are going to, like, work over time, which is just fine. We don't have to pay attention. Except for the Atlantic Pollock thing. Let's see if we have access to this. Um, I think it's saltwater fish. Yes, but not here. Cold water? Maybe, but not here again. Okay, so let's see. Do we want to build a tank with our shrimp? I think so. So these cannot be uh, housed with a peacock mantis shrimp. All right. They... Oh. Yeah, and you cannot... Uh, have people who eat crustaceans. And I forget what the symbol... There are many symbols in this game. So you kind of have to read them to figure out, like, what they're... You know... What, what they eat and stuff. But what we can do is another thing altogether is if we buy some more land over here, uh, we can build a fish tank into this wall, actually. We can build just a tank just for those shrimp. So we do a basic, like, we could do a wall tank, like right here, for example. Let's see, I want to do one probably there. There, yeah, that'll do. No, naughty guest, get over here. Okay, you got to move the guests out of there, or I guess they leave after a time. But anyway, they, um... They can't get through the staff doors either way, so it, yeah, they can't. That's not good. Not good. No, no, no. All right, so this is going to be our shrimp tank, I think. I just want to have shrimp in here. Uh, so let's go ahead and add... Let's add our shrimp. We have enough money, I think, for all the stuff. Let's see. Cannot be housed with a peacock mantis shrimp. So it's basically no other things. This is a lone shrimp tank, alas. It is a beautiful shrimp, but it is a shrimp that does not like other shrimps. So that's rough. Okay, let's see. This tank is 4 out of 10. It's quite a small tank. Can we put something else in here? Maybe an eel? Maybe. Oh, it will eat crustaceans, though. This one will eat starfish. Can we put something else in here, though? Okay, this is a bully. Are you a... What are you again? You're a bully, right? So I guess I could put one of these in here. It's only size three. That would fit quite nicely. Could put a, like maybe two of them in here. There we go. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So now we just need many rocks. I don't know if we can manage that many rocks, but we'll try. Let's get the rocks going. So we need seven rocks. These are seven rocks and they also help with filtration so that's kind of great nice okay that's good now then we can get some heating going on as well so i planned this so that we have a walkway here and then we can put these uh, machines on the side here so let's see this one does okay let's see we're looking at the wall tank here so we're already at 49 of 60 so we just need probably just a basic filter i would guess very small one is needed there. And then uh, we can also, we need some heat. So let's see. This one does 18 heat. That probably is enough. There we go. It is 18 heat. Good. I never know if that's exact numbers or if there's some other like size of the tank matters as well. I'm not really sure. Okay. So this one needs orange food, which is over there. 
Wow, wow, we need like three different kinds of food here? Oh, supplement. Okay. That task requires skill. Oh dear. All right. I don't know about that. So I think that means that they have to have a feeding skill higher than zero. So anyway, but we do need to build, we need one more wall slot, I think. Well, actually we don't, I guess, but all right, never mind. Supplement stand. Here we go. Supplements. And then I want to put in, I'll put in another orange because over here is a long way to walk just to feed these shrimp. So I want to add in the orange pellets here and then the blue pellets as well. Or brine shrimp, right? All right brine. No. Green. Crab. Crab, crab, crab. Okay. The crab dispenser. There we go. Okay, good. Okay, let's unpause. We are unpausing. Hooray. Uh, these are unhappy. What's going on with you guys? Dislikes congeners. Oh, I have to sell one. Okay, I forgot about that. So there we go. And they're all happy again. Hooray. All right, so we have people feeding these animals now, which is great. Or these fish. Uh, let's go ahead and add more walkways here. I like when people can walk around stuff. I also want to add some, some benches out here too. What we can do is add, um, where, 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 where is the benchy benchies? Hello? Oh, here they are. Yeah. The banquet seating is really nice, uh, because of, um, the uh, reputation boost that it gives you the prestige that's really useful okay i have a cat hello emily uh, i mean emma 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 not the same name not the same name all right my emma what you doing my cat i don't know if my cat knows her name i think i call her too many names like i call her rocket socks and stuff and because she's really rocket socksy yeah what we should do though is get more fish that have science points. I think that that is going to be our next task because everything that we have, I think, is all green points. Pretty sure. So let's see, how many does it tell us? Okay, we do. Oh no, this one is 64 science points. So we shouldn't be too far behind. I think maybe this is just really expensive. It's 800. And this one is what? Excuse me. Go away, window. This one is also 800. I don't know what's going on with these science points. This one's slightly more. This one is all science, all green points. This one is also all green points. So that's, yeah, we're, we're very heavy on the green points. Not as many blue points being generated. But I do want to generate those. Okay, this is a thirsty person. Okay, we need to get in that case. Let's get another drink stand. These also have an AoE, as you see. It's very light colored. I kind of wish it was a tiny bit darker. Um, all right, let's get a themed bin. Sure. There's good. Nice. Very nice. Actually, wait. Ooh, picnics research. Okay, we got the disco mushroom. Uh, right. So the other thing we needed was that Atlantic Pollock. I don't see it anywhere. I don't think we have it. Maybe it's coming up. Let's get a crab. I like crabs and things. I like weird stuff. All right. Okay. Prestige from Archway slowly going up. <laughs> Two points at a time. <laughs> okay. And this, I guess, is a total that we can generate. So right now we're only at 64 because of this one aquarium is 64, literally. So that's going to be a while to get that. It's only 35 prestige as well. That's like, that doesn't feel very rewarding. I have to say, no, 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 no. I just wanted to close the window thingy. Stop that. Stop it. Okay. Anyway, but we're going to just kind of like chill. The If we look at our money thingy, where is it? No, it's somewhere. No, not there. Oh my god, we got the crab already? Holy fuzzy cats. Let's get this one then. Oh wait, there is a fast forward button. How did I not see this when I was practicing the other day? How did I not see that? I had no idea. Wow. Okay. Never mind. It's all good. We're all good. I just, I'm dumb apparently. Okay, not dumb, but like didn't notice it. Anyway, um, I'm looking for, there is like a money overlay. Do I just click the money? There it is. Okay, so we can actually see that the food and drink does generate some money, which is a good thing to have. We have the staff salaries, day's profit, livestock, net cash flow, all of that kind of stuff. 
really good stuff to kind of keep track of. Now I want to see who has the most science points. These grandmas seem very, okay, but we have some of those already. We want to have a variety in our, uh, in our aquarium. So we want to try to get things. These have 20 each. Wow. I feel like we need more moray eels. Picasso triggerfish. Wow, we're just knocking these researches out. It's crazy. Uh, let's get this one. This is 36 science points. Oh, there's a, there was a 42 there as well. Darn it. Well, it's okay. We'll have it in a second anyway. Okay, so we might get to the point. I think we have so many things. I want to hire another employee. So let's see. Feeding one. Fixing one. Feeding. Feeding. Cleaning. Come on. Feeding two, please. Talking. Hey, that's good. I think that's good. Charisma. Uh, I think that helps people at the gift shops and stuff. Okay, let's see. Feeding two. All right, we got one feeding two. Ooh, you're good at... Oh, wait, no, no, no. I clicked too many times. Whoops. You know what? I think I'm going to buy... Who was it? It was... You know what? We can never have too many feeding people. Fixing two. I want to hire them as well. I want to... Let's look at our employees here. We have... Let's see. This person is feeding two. This one is feeding two, fixing two. This one, I want to put fixing on a higher priority. These little dots determine how high the priority is on the different tasks that they do. So basically people who have a higher priority fixing, let's put them on higher priority. And then cleaning is on two. I'm going to put this one on, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to put feeding higher there. All right, I think that's good. And then people who just have one, you know what? They're all allowed to do everything. So we'll just put these people, the feeding people on feeding as like, yo, feed these fish because they're hungry. I probably have way too many employees now, but it's okay. We can, we can weather it. It's fine. Now then I want to get, let's see. Uh, we were going to buy a moray eel. It's also the trigger fish as well. This one needs four or more different decorations. This is a nibbler. So what is this 10% territorial? Ooh, there are more than one. All right, so that's fine. Skill required. All right, so let's, let's just expand this area because I want to put a tank next to this one. Okay, and then we'll expand this. Put a Oh, there's a corner tank as well. No, I don't want to do that. I want to do, I think I want to do, oh, we could do an observer tank. Those are quite nice. Okay, that's a big observer tank. I like that. Um, I need to move it though. We need to do a couple more tiles this way and then I just want to move the whole thing up because you see where the blue kind of aligns there. Yeah. We want to get that going properly. Not have it messed up. All right. So this thing. All right. We need to figure out what fish we want in here. Let's put in all of our blue fish or our blue sciency fish. Let's get in. Let's see. You're okay. You don't want crustaceans. So let's put a couple of eels in here. Uh, how many is that? That's eight of 30. Okay. Then let's get in a couple of trigger fish, maybe one, maybe two. Is that too many? Are we unhappy? Yes, we're unhappy. So let's sell one of these trigger fish. We press X and then click to sell. Uh, okay. So they are happy. Now we need four decorations, which is important. What other kind of fish do we want in here? We could put in... Uh, we can't put any crustaceans in, so these are crustaceans uh, because those other fish will eat them. I think it's the Picasso one. Do you eat shrimps? Yeah, you eat crustaceans, starfish, stony corals, clams, and or gorgonians. Wow, you eat everything. Holy fuzzy cats. All right, you will also eat starfish. 
But we could maybe, uh, oh, the, wait, this is supposed to be our blue tank. That's right. I guess it doesn't have to be a blue tank. It doesn't really matter. Uh, let's see. The royal grandma would be okay as well. Maybe? Let's see. We have plenty of space. So maybe we take these. There are eight each. One, two, three, four. Okay. So let's figure out what we need here. We need one cave. Let's just do the cavey stuff first. That's, we need a, so that's a three cave. This is an eight cave. Okay, that's fine. And then we need, um, we need those explorer things. Was it you? Yeah, four different decorations. Now those can include both plants and also other decorations like these. So the anchor is always a nice one because of the prestige boost. Um, until we get more prestige stuff, we're just going to use that. This has nice uh, stuff. The rubble is very good with the filter. Let's put that one in there. And then let's get some kelp here. Oh, hello? Oh, it's not deep enough. Whoops. Okay, never mind. The kelp is too tall. Alas. I forgot that this wasn't a double height one. Okay. Uh, sea lettuce, though, we can put in there. And then maybe we put in like a barrel or something, or I like the shells or a conch shell. Okay, there we go. Very, very nice. Okay, now we just need temperature and filtration. So let's see, if we unpause, I think this should go up, maybe? No? Yes? Okay, it didn't go up. I was surprised because we have 10 filter power from the rocks. Uh, but maybe we need to hook up a proper filter. Okay, so this is 65 filter power. This is 40. Let's put in the 40 here. This will actually hook to both of them. So uh, let's connect it here. Yeah, it won't co connect to both. We just want to connect it to one of them. All right, so let's unpause here. And we have 50 filter power. Uh, so we need one more filter, I think. Just get a small one. There we go. Actually, what we can do is we can move these things around a tiny bit. So if we move this one, let's move. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. No, I just want to move this thing. There you go. And I'm going to move this one a little bit differently. Let's move this one here. So this way, people, if they need food from this section, which they do need the orange pellets, they can just put the food in right here instead of having to walk all the way around to that side to put them in. So we need red stuff. Those are mussels. Let's go and have some mussels from here. All right. And we have a new tank. So this is going to give us mucho. Uh, well, not, not as mucho as muchui, but more, more for our research at the very least. Okay. Now we got a volitans lion fish. Very cool. Midas uh, chiclid. Sure. That's a freshwater fish. You can tell with this mountain on the river. Do we have a space for that thing in here? Uh, maybe if we sell one of the royal grandma, possibly. Let's see, what do we got here? Where was it again? Oh, I forgot the mushrooms. What's soft coral? Wait, did that Picasso thing eat the coral as well? No, just stony corals. Ooh. Oh. How big is this thing? Oh, it's one square worth. I guess we could take out the shell. Let's see, shell. Let's see, so... X that. And I want to buy that mushroom. Let's shove that one in there. Yay. And then I wanted to add... Let's see, are we at our limit? We're at 28 right now. How much do we need for the Volatans lionfish? Does this eat anything else? Eats 33% more food and creates 33% more waste for its size. Whoa. All right. Let's see, animals with size one to four. Do we have animals with size one to four? Yeah, we have lots of three fish. So that is not gonna go well in there. That's not a good idea. Let's leave it as it is for now. I think we're quite happy with this, except for the fact that we need more water filtration now that we have that mushroom in there. So let's uh, X this, like literally X. Um, and then we're going to put in a bigger filter for there. Hello? No? What? Seriously? Thing? Okay. I guess I need another filter. 
Jeez, that's surprising to me. Okay, that's better. That still feels like not enough. But we are working on this filter here with the science points we're generating. All right, well, it is time for us to finish this episode. Let's just peek in on these moray eels. Look how cool they look. Is that not great or what? Oh, the animations in this game are really nice. No, no, no. Don't, don't. Just go away, thing. Stop, stop messing with me. Yay, fish. And hopefully in the next episode, we will get some bigger tanks and explore how to make little platforms and stuff so that, uh, you know, our employees can feed the fish in a different area. Oh, here's a lost person. Let's move him out of here. Uh, oh, and here's another one. Okay, wait, shoot. Anyway, um, but I hope you have enjoyed. Oh, we got the thing. All right, deep wall tank. I really want that. This should be faster, though, I think. Okay, let's do this. Anyway, um, I hope you've enjoyed this episode and are going to look forward to more exploring all of these like different aspects of the game because I certainly am really excited to look into these DLCs and figure out all the things and use some more of the architectural features because I think that's a really cool, cool thing and kind of helps you design your aquarium the way you like it. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you next time.